Hey girls, since Madeline came up with uh, Surprise Saturdays, I thought I would come up with Makeup Sundays. Because uh, on, although I'm not sure if this will actually go up on Sunday or not, because it's already 11 o'clock when I'm filming this, and the internet at my house has been unbelievably slow lately. But, um, mainly on Thursday, my day, it's usually my day off, which is why I chose that day, um, I ended up working nine hours. And then after those nine hours and how ridiculous they were, I felt like I deserved to go out with some of the girls from work and have some sushi and enjoy a social life IRL, which I don't normally do. So, yeah. Um, if, if you need to punish me, that's okay. I can do that. Just tell me what to do. Although, probably not Ambrosia, since I'll be at LeakyCon next week, and that might not be good. But, um... Anyways, so a few things real quick. I have to be kind of quiet because everyone is asleep. Um, first off, I actually, Madeline had mentioned the, what was it? Oh, sleeping like a baby. And I had never thought of that. I'm not good at picking up on things like that unless I'm told that there's a symbolism somewhere. Um, so that's pretty great. Um, and then one of my favorite parts, the part that like, really got me crying this time. You know, the first time I cried when they were in the assembly and all found out that she had died. Uh, this time I really didn't cry until, well, even when I cried it wasn't really that emotional. But the first time I kind of cried during this one, during this reread, was um, at the funeral. But then the time that really got me kind of emotional but not necessarily crying was when they were driving through the accident scene and it says, doo, 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 doo. and poof, we are through the moment of her death. We are driving through the place that she could not drive through, passing onto asphalt she never saw, and we are not dead. We are not dead. We are breathing and we are crying, and now slowing down and moving back into the right lane. And I like that because I think that that is a lot of the part of dealing with grieving and dealing with tragedy is knowing that you are still moving through. You know, things may seem like they have stopped at some point. You know, things... Your your whole world kind of feels like it just stopped. But... You, you survived. You're still moving. And I think that that is part that you have to remember. And that's why I'm kind of surprised that that wasn't more of a topic brought up in his essay, which I like, Laurel, what you said about the essay, because the first time... I read the book, I kind of thought the same thing. I was like, is this supposed to be an essay or is it supposed to be a journal entry? I wasn't really sure, but um, then rereading it this time, I definitely liked the way that it was written. I think I agree with you. It was very pudge, you know. It was definitely his voice writing it. And although it might not have been formal enough for a essay or what I would consider a essay. Um, I think that was very him and it was very where his mind was at that moment and I don't think his professor would have expected anything more at that point had he known you know how close he was to Alaska and all the things that had happened. So yeah um, I will see you guys next week. Bye!